Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Ring Battery Doorbell Plus, which we've got right here. It's got 1536 HD video, which is really good video footage quality. And what's unique about this is that it does have a built-in battery. So you can use this either with your existing hard wiring, which we've got right here for our existing doorbell, or you can use it as a standalone doorbell with the battery that's installed there that's fully rechargeable, and you just recharge that battery when needed. But the advantage is if you have it wired up to an existing doorbell wiring like we're gonna do here, then it will always keep that battery charged. You never need to worry about charging it up. So today, let's show you how to install the Ring Battery Doorbell Plus. The first thing that we need to do to wire it up to our existing doorbell is turn off the power to the doorbell. I'm gonna do that right now. You can see this little light is on, but once I turn the power off, that light's gonna go off. Okay, we turn the power off to our existing doorbell, and you can see if I press it, it no longer makes a noise, which means that it is no longer powered up and that light is no longer on. So just take the screws in the doorbell and remove them so you can access the wiring. We pulled off the existing doorbell, and now we just need to unwire these two wires from the terminal for our new doorbell. The Ring Battery Doorbell Plus comes with a wedge that allows you to angle it to the right or to the left. You can change the orientation just by flipping it around. So we're going to take this wedge and we're gonna run our wires right through the center there. And then all we're going to do is screw in two screws into these slots that are provided right here. So you can see these are the more rounded head screws. You want to use these ones for this installation because they also give you these flat head screws, but those are for installing the actual doorbell onto the mount itself. So now that we've got that ready to go, we're just going to screw in the two screws and then we're ready to mount the doorbell to this plate. Now we've got the screws holding it in place installed and I only used one because I test out a lot of doorbells and I'm trying not to make any more holes in my wall, but you should install one in this top slot as well. Now we're ready to install the Ring Battery Doorbell Plus. We need to remove the front cover here. So what we're going to do is just pull forward towards us at the bottom of the cover and that's gonna expose the cover. And then you can see these are the four screw holes that are gonna be mounting to this bracket. But before we do that, we need to take the wires that we've got and wire them up to the terminals that are on the back of this device. So it doesn't matter which color wire goes on which terminal, just make sure that you get them properly secured. And once you do, you're gonna screw that down and make sure you've got good contact with those wires and then you're gonna tighten it all the way down. So we've got that wire installed and then we're gonna take our other wire, make sure we get it looped around right here on this other terminal and we've got good contact and then screw that in place so that we can start installing this on the mount. So we've got this other screw, we've tightened it up and now we're ready to take this and install it on the actual mount for the doorbell here. So we're gonna put those wires back into the wall and then you can see that lines up perfectly and now we're gonna install the screws in these four holes. Take the provided flathead screws. They have a little rubber gasket on them. You can identify them that way. And you're just going to put them through the holes that are right here on the device itself. And then you're going to screw those in place. Now that we've got all the screws installed for our Ring Doorbell Plus, all we need to do is remove the battery and activate it. To do that, we press down on the little tab there and then pull the battery out. And you can see they've got this little piece of orange paper that's there during shipping. You wanna remove that so that the tabs are active and exposed right there at the top. And if you need to charge it, you can do so, but there is a little port right there and it comes with a charging cable in the box that allows you to charge it up with just like a phone charger if you needed to. But they already do have some power from the factory, so I'm just going to slide it back in there. But if I ever needed to remove this and recharge it, I can do so just by pushing right there and using that charging cable. Now that we've got that installed, you can see it lights up right here and goes through a startup sequence. So once you see the startup sequence, we're ready to switch over to our phone and get this set up on the Ring app.
Now is also a good time to turn the power back on to your doorbell wiring if you turned it off and you hardwired your doorbell so that you don't forget it at some point in the future. So go do that now. If you haven't already done so, download and install the Ring app, which we've got right here. Set up a username and password and then log into the app so that you can set up your Ring Doorbell Plus. Once you're logged in, this is the home screen that appears. Click in the upper left hand corner on the menu button. Now you're going to click on set up a device right here and then we're going to select doorbells at the top to scan the QR code on your Ring device. On the Ring Battery Doorbell Plus, the QR code is right here, so scan that now. Click I'm ready to scan. Once you scan the QR code, this is the next screen that pops up. Just click continue. Give your ring doorbell a name. We're gonna call this one the front door. And it says using the wrong screw to secure the faceplate could damage it. We're going to click got it. And then we need to find the security screw and install our cover plate. This is the security screw that we're going to use to secure the faceplate. It's got a flat top and a flat bottom and it's much smaller than the rest of the screws. So all we're gonna do is take our cover plate. You kind of wanna tilt it in like so, and then you're gonna push from the top and then push down from the bottom and you'll hear it click in place. So now mine is secured and it has clicked in place. And then on the bottom of the ring, that's where we're gonna take our security screw, which we've got right here, and the little tool that they provide. You're just going to put that on there and then you're going to put that screw in the bottom of the device and screw it in place and that will hold that cover on so that that battery doesn't come out or no one removes the battery from it while it's installed on your home. So we've got that screw in place and we're just screwing it in and once we do that, it is secured and we'll go back to the app. I'm just going to click continue. It says charge and insert the battery. We already did that, we're going to click continue. The next screen that pops up says grab your Wi-Fi password, we're going to click continue. It says get closer to your ring doorbell. It's important to be as close as possible to your device while setting up. I am near the device. Ring doorbell is preparing for setup, connecting to your ring doorbell. Now we need to select a Wi-Fi network that we're going to set up the ring device with and enter the password. So I'm gonna make that selection now. Enter the password, then click continue. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Just a moment. Success. Your ring doorbell is now set up. Click continue. Now installing an update. This may take several minutes. Click continue. I've already installed it. Skip for now. Skip for now. Skip for now. Skip for now, I'm done. Great, let's let it complete the update and then we should see the live feed right here. So we'll give it a couple minutes. Setup successful. Great, the update was complete and if we click on our front door doorbell right here and then click again to go live, we can see the live view of our Ring Doorbell Plus or Ring Battery Doorbell Plus. You can see me waving and talking on the camera there. And it also does have controls here so that if I wanted to have two-way communication, I could turn on the microphone and click OK. And then I could also have the two-way speaker if I wanted. Now I can just end the live if I click here and then you're gonna be able to review former videos right here as well and then go through that live feed. So I'm gonna X out of that and we can click on some of the settings here. You can have ring alerts turned on. You can turn on motion detector alerts and motion warning alerts. So you can flip any of these on or off if you want but right now we're going to leave that off. And then if you wanted to, you could just click on your live view here. It also shows you your battery status up at the top. So we've got ours turned on with the power back on for that hard wiring. So we're all good to go there. 
but if you've got the battery only and you don't have it hardwired, you wanna pay attention to that. It will alert you through the app when your battery is getting low, so just follow along. And if you ever need to change that battery out, you just remove the cover plate and press that button down. Now you can click on your event history here and it's gonna show you clips of everything you got. And you can select those clips when a motion event or event happened when you press the button. You can also add other accessories here, the ring chime, a solar charger, quick release battery pack, all kinds of different things. And you can just purchase these if you want to add those on. You've got your mode settings here for armed, home, and away especially if you're using this with a security system, you can have different ways that it interacts with these different modes. I'm going to click out of this because I want this always on. You can link other devices. You can have motion snooze. So if you don't want any alerts, maybe you are having a party or something like that, you could have a snooze duration for the entire day and then you don't need to worry about it. And you could click start snooze, but I'm gonna leave those on. You have your linked chimes here. So if you wanna link a ring doorbell chime, you can do so with this product and then place that anywhere throughout your home. So even if you don't have an existing wired chime, you can use it just like a traditional doorbell. Then you've got your device health down here. It's gonna show you your battery level, uh, your connection level and your Wi-Fi strength down there. You've got your motion settings. So if you click on this, you can change uh, where you've got zones for motion notifications. So you can change this. If we wanna click add a motion zone here, we can move this around and then change that. So if we wanna have certain things uh, like a street monitored, we can do so with that motion zone and we can add and delete those. So I'm just gonna click save right there. And then you can choose when and what times you wanna be alerted with those motion zones. You've got smart responses right here. If you click on that, it allows you to use quick replies. So you could just turn that feature on. I'm gonna do that. And then it gives you an option when somebody presses the doorbell to have a quick reply rather than replying in two-way communication mode like you normally would. So there's a lot of different features that you can play with on this device and really tune it into your exact use case at your home. You've also got help in shared access. So if you wanna share this with multiple people, you can do so. You would click here and add them to the account. And if you wanna to go to live view, we can click on that again and then see this final live view of me right here. And you can also now see we've got our quick replies feature down there. So we could click on that and then choose one of those quick replies if we wanted. And then if we needed to go to our controls, we've got some other things here for turning on lights or other items that you may have connected to your Ring account if you have those compatible accessories. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Ring Battery Doorbell Plus or how to wire your Ring Battery Doorbell Plus. Overall, I'm very impressed with the field of view as well as the resolution of the camera in both day and night vision. It really does seem like an upgrade from previous generations, as well as you have the optionality to use that as either a battery camera or a hardwired camera. In my instance, I've got it hardwired. However, it is nice that I have the option to use the battery only if I didn't have any existing wiring. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.